When this dog with a broken paw was rescued, the shelter decided that his treatment would be too much and that it would be best to euthanize him. What happened next left everyone shocked, though. Robin hadn't had the best start in life. He was only young when his owners had decided that they no longer wanted him and that it would be easier for them to simply dump him on the side of the road before driving off. The dog hadn't any idea of what was happening to him. At first, the canine had thought that his owners were simply playing with him and that they would be back to take him home in no time. Sadly, this wasn't the case. Robin waited for days in the same spot he had been abandoned in, hoping beyond all hope that his owners would come back for him. But as the time went by, it became more and more obvious that this wouldn't be happening. Eventually, Robin got hungry and thirsty enough that he had to move from his spot in order to find something to eat and drink. As well as that, the young canine wanted to find somewhere relatively safe to sleep and rest. He had realized that his family wouldn't be returning for him at all and he knew that he was now on his own. He would have to fend for himself on the streets and hope that he wouldn't be hurt by other people or other animals. It was going to be tough for the young dog, as he had never had to fend for himself before in such a drastic way, but there was nothing else that the pup could do but try to survive as best as he could. For the first few days, Robin didn't do too bad in scrounging up food and water for himself. The young pup even managed to find a relatively dry box that he could curl up in during the night so that he could stay relatively dry and warm. During the day, the canine would try and approach different people as if to ask them for help or to try and convince them to take him home. Unfortunately, no one bothered to help the poor pup, and instead they would shoo him away, not wanting to be annoyed by a stray. However, one day something happened that changed Robin's life. The dog had been going about his day like normal, looking for something to eat. Just as the dog was about to cross the road to get to a small bakery, though, he suddenly heard a loud noise. A car was speeding towards him, and it looked as if it had no intention of slowing down or stopping. Robin quickly backed away from the road and back onto the pavement, but sadly the dog wasn't quite quick enough. His leg ended up being clipped by the car as it passed by. Injured and in pain, Robin quickly limped to the nearest alleyway to try and recover a little bit. A couple of days passed by and Robin's leg didn't seem to be getting any better. One morning, as the dog was limping down the street, someone noticed the injured pup and decided to call animal control. They expressed their concern about the injured dog and wanted the animal to get the help that he needed. Animal control officers quickly responded to the call, finding Robin relatively easily. Still quite trusting of humans, the dog was happy when the officers approached him and eagerly got into the car that they had brought. The canine was taken to a state shelter so that his health could be checked over to determine whether or not he would be able to be put up for adoption. Unfortunately, the shelter decided that treating the dog's broken leg would simply be too expensive and not worth it. They only had very little funds, and they thought that spending some on Robin simply couldn't be justified. This meant that there was only one option left for Robin. He was to be humanely euthanized. While it wasn't something that the shelter liked to do, there were simply too many strays for them to take in, and while Robin being as injured as he was, they didn't think that the dog would have a very good chance of being adopted. No one would want to take on the veterinary bills that would accompany the canine, as he would definitely need his legs seeing to, and it would cost quite a lot of money to have it fixed properly. This was the exact reason that the shelter also couldn't help Robin, as they simply didn't have the funds to sort his leg out. Both trying to fix the appendage or amputating it would cost quite a lot of money medically, and the shelter thought that it was money better spent on trying to help as many adoptable animals as possible, ones without injuries. That's harsh, but that's the reality for many well-intentioned but overcrowded and underfunded shelters. The vet at the shelter began to prepare everything he would need to administer the euthanization injection. He got the dosage and syringe ready before asking a member of the shelter to bring Robin to him. The dog, still unaware as to what was about to happen to him, greeted the vet with a wagging tail, happy to see someone who he thought was going to help him. 
At seeing just how excited and happy the animal was, the vet began to get second thoughts about whether or not he should euthanize the animal. After all, he seemed relatively okay if not for his injured paw. But at the same time, the vet knew that there was simply no space at the shelter for any more animals, let alone one as injured as Robin was. In the end, the man thought that he was doing what was best for the dog as it was better than being left to fend for himself and starve on the streets, which is what would probably happen to the pup eventually. And if hunger wasn't his main issue, it was very likely that the dog could simply just get injured even more than he already had been, putting the dog in more pain than he currently was. However, just five minutes before the vet gave the euthanization injection to the dog, Robin did something that left everyone in shock. The young pup sat up from his place on the medical table and put his paws onto the vet's shoulder, as if to ask for the man to pet him. The vet was astonished that the dog had done this. The animal was clearly in pain and discomfort from his injured paw, and yet he had happily placed it upon the vet's shoulder, showing that he trusted the man not to make his injury any worse. After this display of determination and will to live, the vet knew that he couldn't simply put the dog down anymore. Instead, the vet called a local non-profit shelter called Vet Ranch. He told them what had happened and asked them if they would be able to take the dog in. The staff at Vet Ranch immediately agreed to take Robin into their shelter as they wanted to try and save the incredibly sweet pup from a horrible fate. It wasn't long before someone arrived to pick Robin up and take him back to Vet Ranch shelter. Once at the new shelter, the vet who worked there quickly did some scans on Robin to determine exactly what was wrong with the dog's leg. Amazingly though, the scans showed that Robin's leg wasn't even broken. Instead, it was just badly bruised. With this in mind, the vet wrapped the leg up in some bandages to stop the dog from damaging it any further. He then neutered the animal and did the rest of his health checks before determining that the animal was fit to be rehomed. It didn't take long for Robin to find his new forever family. The dog was incredibly sweet and loving, which lots of people looked for in a house pet. Before long, the canine was settled into his new home where he lived happily for the rest of his life. Sadly, not every dog is as lucky as Robin to escape kill shelters, which is why it's important to adopt and to donate to non-profit organizations to support their cause in helping as many animals as possible. Let me know what you thought of this story in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more incredible videos. See you next time.